No, and Kate, you also, I mean, I know it was a difficult day in some ways to have this debate, but a very pertinent one. You also raised the issue of national security and, and all of those poor unfortunate yes. people that died yesterday, none of them, of course, had any identity documents whatsoever, which is what we expect. Yeah. Just please yeah. give us, your, tell us what you said about security and how that was received. Yeah, well, what I said was that we know that most of the people either haven't got documents for one reason or other, or they're told to destroy them. So it's actually very difficult to work out who or where they've come from. And I raised the question that, you know, it was ridiculous. I used the example of Lithuania, where they discovered actually looking at the people that had come in from Belarus, there were something like 24 who had direct links with um, ISIS. And I said, you know, on the scale of things then in, in, in this country, are we really saying that there's none of those people that are coming in illegally who might be here for other reasons and might have actually links with terrorist groups? I, I was then accused, of course, of accusing all um, illegal migrants of being terrorists, which of course was exactly uh, the kind of um, thing that you know, some of, you know, trying to divert it. And I have to say that the um, the minister, um, Baroness Williams, did respond quite seriously to a number of my points. I mean, they've clearly got the message that they have not been doing enough. And I, I did actually, Nigel. Um, raise the fact that, you know, if people had listened to some of the things you'd been said 18 months ago when yeah. you first went down there and took film, that things might have been different. Of course, that wasn't necessarily received with great... Um, no! Plum. I'm sure it wasn't. <laughs> it's very much a Remainer house. Finally, Kate, and thank you for making time to come on with us this evening. Finally, what would you like to see as the next step? Well, I do think that it will just be shocking now if, if France refuses to the, our offer of police and, and, and the security to help with the, the monitoring of the beaches. We just can't have boats being allowed, you know, literally just to go off when, it, when the weather gets better again. But I, they may not want to do that. They may not do that. And of course, as we know, that won't change things. I, 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 think, that, I think the government, I mean, the Nationality and Borders Bill coming through, which will, of course, get absolutely torn to pieces in the House of Lords, um, is, is a step forward because at least it's going to stop some of the huge numbers of appeals that asylum seekers who have failed can have. And of course, we'll stop some of the lawyers making lots and lots of money yeah, out of this. It's like an industry, a legal industry now. So I mentioned that today, which again didn't go down very well because there's a lot of lord, uh, law, legal lords, law lords in the lords.